our very special one and only Santa from Santa's Den in Marysville. Um, welcome to the show, and we are glad to have you here. It's a very great opportunity to have you here. Thank you for inviting me. I'm very pleased to be here. You're very welcome. Okay, so to start off with the first question, kids love Santa, and they love going there. And what are you, what's your motivation to go to be Santa every day? Yeah, if I get one smile out of a child, I'm doing great. Uh, oh. If I get a tear out of a child, I'm doing great because <laughs> it's uh, it's just a fun time to always be at least making, bringing joy mm -hmm. to the kids yeah. and to the families. Yeah. What are you? What's your least favorite thing? I mean, everybody has the least favorite thing about work or school or what they do. Uh, I think the least favorite thing is when I try so hard to get a, a baby to smile and the baby won't smile but it'll cry so then I'll cry with it. <laughs> Is it often that the babies cry? This year we've had more than uh, more than our share of crying babies but we've done uh, newborns because we always do mm -hmm. uh, the baby's first photos yeah. free for newborns mm -hmm. so it uh, we've had a abundance of newborn babies this year. Is that your favorite part, having the newborns there, taking their first pictures? It is because I know that I'll see them next year and they'll be able to pick mm -hmm. out their own pictures on the collage and the mm -hmm. parents will be able to pick out the pictures. Mm -hmm. So it's uh, it's pretty enjoyable. Yeah. So have, does it happen often that they, they're happy? Is it much more rewarding when they're happy or when they're when they're sad and then you get them to be happy most the most of the children that we see and and the adults are happy mm -hmm. and they're usually always have a smile and then we get the babies that are just <laughs> screaming yeah. but those those photos there are kind of the best memory photos mm -hmm. because the baby's screaming yeah. And it, uh, you know, the parents like it, so I'm happy with it. I've had my fair share of crying baby photos when yeah. I was at Santa. <laughs> cried every year. <laughs> See, I've never taken pictures with Santa as a kid, so I wouldn't know how that goes, but I've seen many family photos where the baby's crying and all that stuff is going on. Do you think it's on you to, like, have your kind of like a first impression or is it just the babies just naturally cry with strangers I think the babies aren't ready for all the facial hair <laughs> uh, and a lot of times I'll they'll grab onto my beard and mm -hmm. uh, a lot of people think it'll it'll pull off well it doesn't <laughs> it doesn't pull off <laughs> Do the parents go, no, don't touch it. Then you're like, oh, it's fine, it's fine. I, it's, I it's, tell them it's, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. That's part of uh, part of being Santa because they, uh, and then a lot of times when the kids are happy and they do pull on my beard, then I'll just give them a big ho, ho, ho. <laughs> and it'll just, they'll kind of startle them a little bit. And, do uh, babies ever start crying when you do that? Like just all I of a sudden? I usually can get a smile out of them. Uh, for the most part. Mm -hmm. There's a few that do just start bawling, but for the most part, I'll get a smile out of them. I know if I was a kid and so what the Santa did that to me, I wouldn't, I would cry because honestly, that's scary because, you know, as a kid, everybody's scared of different things. But what about teenagers or like kids, like middle schoolers? Do they come to you? Do they ever like complain? They pout. They don't complain, they pout. Because they don't want to be there. <laughs> Mom's making them come, Mom's dad's making them come, and they, they'd rather be home playing mm -hmm. video games. Do, this year, do a lot of teenagers come, or no? Quite a few have. Uh, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of kids that are coming in this year to get photos for their mom and dad, mm -hmm. just to, uh, that's their that's their gift to, to their mom and dad is just a photo of all the kids together, so that makes it pretty special. 
Okay, and we're going to go a little different direction. Tell us a little bit about your elves. What's, what's your... Try to keep them busy. Yeah. Sometimes they want to just goof off. But the main thing is, is that uh, if we keep them busy, then things keep rolling smooth. Mm -hmm. If they start goofing off, then we run into trouble. <laughs> <laughs> what do your elves do when you're not at your den? Uh, I'm hoping that they're working on other stuff that <laughs> needs to be taken care of. But, you know, for the most part, the elves that I have are just very special people. Mm -hmm. And uh, they, they always have a place in my heart. Mm -hmm. So very good, very good, uh, well, should I say, friends and almost family, so mm -hmm. it's, it's pretty great. Do you have a favorite elf by any chance, or is it just a big, fat family? Uh, I have a favorite elf. He, uh, he takes care of all the, all the photos, so mm -hmm. he's, he's pretty special. He, he works really hard. He does a lot of amazing things with uh, the new technology that we mm -hmm. have. So it's uh, and and if you come into Santa's Den over uh, thirteen twenty seven Eighth Street in Marysville, you'll see a picture of a live reindeer cam that we have set up. Mm -hmm. And amazing. it's. Uh, very amazing for the kids and the teenagers and everybody to come in and watch yeah. it. So, does that ever does the technology ever become a problem? Like, like technical difficulties? Does that ever happen, or like all of a sudden, or whatever? Once in a while, we do, but for the most part, uh, everything runs pretty smooth. Mm -hmm. That's good because I mean, we even tend to have technical dif difficulties here also. So I'm sure. Every place has their own differences and whatnot. We did have we did have a client that had a uh, she brought her disc in and we burned the disc, burned some photos onto the disc, and they weren't there. So and we couldn't pull them up either. So it was uh, so we burned her a new disc and it was just it was great. She was happy and mm -hmm. so now she'll go print out all her photos. Yeah. Um, you mentioned the reindeer cam. Do you have a favorite reindeer? Uh, Prancer, I think. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's uh, he's old, but he's kind of he's my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a least favorite one that just like is stubborn all the time, maybe or never? Mm, I think Comet. <laughs> In Comet. which ways? He like just why? He gets mean. He picks on the other reindeer, and he just gets mean to him, and just uh, always kicking at them, trying to get their the others' food. So it's yeah. Okay. So, do kids ever come in after they came in last year? Or do they ever complain when they asked you first? And do they, do they ever complain that they? didn't get what they wanted or are unhappy with what they wanted or did it just completely turn around like not usually uh, they uh, the kids that asked for stuff last year you know, I, I keep their lists mm -hmm. and uh, it works out pretty good because I ask them well did you get the Legos you wanted or and uh, most of them for the most part say yes we did so oh, that's amazing. It's, it's pretty fun. Okay, well, here we have an upcoming segment about a boy who um, asked for a couple wishes, and they came out to be completely the opposite of what they wanted, and he's just frustrated with that and doesn't know what's going on. So here we are going on to the segment. Okay. Uh, it's just... Uh yeah, that's the segment. So. Just like Santa. Ho ho ho, jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell. Just putting the last finishing touches right here for the tree for Santa. Um, all done, now it's time to make cookies for Santa. Hey Bruno, come on and make cookies. 
Yay, Santa's coming. Okay, so you take your dough in your hand and roll it into a nice ball and gently place it on the tray. Got it? Okay, the last two. And now it's time to cook. Now we wait. 15 minutes and we're good. All done, ready for Santa. Welcome back Marysville. Here we are again with Santa. And right before the segment, I apologize for the confusion. That was um, a boy about, uh, it was about a boy who was really excited for Christmas and making cookies for Santa. So our apologies. Okay, Santa, do you like, do kids bring cookies for you when they come to take pictures? They do. Yeah? Uh, I had a little girl day before yesterday bring me in some chocolate chip cookies mm -hmm. and chocolate chip cookies are my favorite uh -huh. so she made sure that she'd run just come running right up she didn't wait for the line that was there or anything she just came running up to me and <laughs> give me a hug and give me my cookies and uh, that was one of the most joyous yeah. moments that we had oh, and uh, it's it's really fun because uh, it's something that they do themselves. This little girl was eight years old, and she baked the cookies herself, so she was very really? proud of that. Yeah. Were they were they decent cookies? They were good cookies. That's good. <laughs> I'm glad. Yeah. Um, do you do your elves ever eat any of the cookies? Do you have any, do you have any children ever bring in too many? A lady brought in some chocolates and said, make sure that I have to share them with the elves. <laughs> so I'm kind of stingy about that, but I shared. <laughs> That's good. It's always good. Sharing is caring, especially with your elves since they do a lot for you. They do tons and tons of yeah. stuff for me. And Mrs. Claus, she's, uh, she takes pretty good care of them too, though. Let's talk about Miss Claus. What does she do around the den? Well, she better be home baking <laughs> because... <laughs> Starting to get a little thin, and I love cookies. <laughs> what, what's your favorite food that she makes, other than cookies? I think probably spaghetti. Mm -hmm. Everyone loves spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you have a favorite song around Christmas time? Jingle bells. Jingle bells. Do the kids come in and just like chawing along singing songs or? We have, we have uh, a projector in the mm -hmm. shop to where they can sit and watch movies mm -hmm. or we have songs playing. Uh, we have a, a kiosk where they can take their photos mm -hmm. and post it on Facebook. Do you have a, like a photo booth there? We do. Yeah. I've always wanted to come in and check <coughs> out Santa's and I just never to do that feel free to stop by it doesn't cost anything for a hug <laughs> yeah okay so we want you to do us a little favor can you sing a little bit of jingle bell your your the, the chorus maybe or anything we, we want to hear jingle bells jingle bells jingle all the way oh what fun it is to ride in one horse open sleigh hey they really enjoy that thank you <laughs> Is there a least favorite song that you like? I mean, it's sad to have a least favorite song, but is there? Uh, not really. Not really. I like all uh, all, all sorts of Christmas mm -hmm. music. It's None uh, of them ever get overheard or when no. it's just played a little bit too much around the den? No. It, uh, they rotate them pretty good, and it's uh, it just keeps things moving, and it's a uh, pretty special day for we start at 11 o'clock in the morning, and we usually get out of there at 7.30 or so mm -hmm. in the evening, and it's uh, it's usually a great day. That's good. Um, do your elves ever sing the song or sing songs with or during while they're playing? They do at times, but most of the times are, they're busy yeah. checking people in and doing... Uh, technology stuff mm -hmm. 
and answering her phone for appointments. Mm -hmm. But it's really, it's really great. It's, yeah. uh, it's a fun shop. It's uh, just an amazing place. We got tables set up for the kids to color, and uh, I make sure they each get a candy cane before they leave. I do a kind of a game with them called a racing candy cane, so they have to catch it. What is that? Can uh, you explain to us what that is? I just take the candy cane and I <coughs> chase it and make them chase it. Mm -hmm. I move it around. Yeah. And uh, that's usually when I, we get the biggest smiles. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you do a lot, all for your elves and Miss Claus and everything. Do you guys ever get stressed about anything? Last year I did, this year I, I don't. It's, uh, I let things fall where they may and mm -hmm. we just keep going on. Do people, the, do the elves just kind of make it flow or is it just, do you do the biggest job? I mean, you are the main person there. People come to see you, so you are the one to kind of make everything flow. But like, do, do the el like elves and Miss Claus play a, a big role in making everything roll also? They do. They do as far as, as checking in, uh, keeping people in order of mm -hmm. when they come in and uh, getting the photos done in a timely manner and getting the people's photos to them and mm -hmm. send them home. Does that ever get complicating, sending photos to people? like? Sometimes, yes. Uh, when we get so many people in and then there's a line that's out the door and you're thinking, oh gosh, am I ever gonna get through this? Mm -hmm. But then you look and the line's gone and uh, people are happy and smiling and and so are the elves and myself. That's good. So. Does Santa ever get a time of the year to relax? Just oh yes, <laughs> oh yes. I, uh, I went and took a vacation in uh, Hawaii in mm. July and for 10 days with my family and we had, we had a great time. Mm. Where'd you go? What, like, what's your favorite thing to do over, like, over your break and just to relax? Uh, I think watch Christmas movies. <laughs> in, the <laughs> in the summer? Well, yeah, we watch, we watch a lot of Christmas movies, you know, and it's, uh, there's a, uh, kind of a favorite one that I like. It's it's a wonderful life and it's uh, it's a good movie. Mm -hmm. And then I also like uh, Ebenezer Scrooge. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that um, movie. What, so. What's your favorite other like thing to do other than go on vacation or anything? I think golf. Mm -hmm. I like to golf and uh, I don't get out to do it enough, but that's uh, that's part of the mm -hmm. things that we do. Yeah. Um. <laughs> it's okay, our minds get blank sometimes. Yeah. What is the most common thing kids ask for? This year, the most common thing is BB guns and pellet guns. They, uh, I've had a lot of them ask for mm -hmm. those. And uh, the girls, Monster High, doll houses and clothes. And then uh, a big thing is frozen. <laughs> so we have a, 30 inch Olaf there that we take uh, I saw I was looking through Facebook last night that we take pictures yeah with. and <laughs> um, I was looking and I saw Olaf I was like of course they would have Olaf mm -hmm. there it's one of the biggest like things right now for kids and everything yep. they love it yeah what's another big thing that kids ask for when they come there uh, the older ones iPhones, iPads, and it just, uh, I say, well, I'll put it on the list and see what we can do, mm -hmm. and kind of wink at their parents, you know, but it's, uh, 
I had one ask me for a TV for his house. <laughs> and I said, That's a little oh. big. <laughs> and I said, why, would, why do you want a TV? Well, for my room. Mm -hmm. So I could play video games in my room. And then his dad explained to me that uh, they're just moving into a new house. So mm. that was pretty that was pretty special. I mean, not like not every parent wants uh, their kids to have a big TV in their room and everything. Because nope. I know in my home, we don't even have a TV because we know that it'll take too much time. Is it do you ever sit there and be like, do you think like because they'll take most of their most of their time, like with school and everything, to be on the TV. Do you ever say, "Do you think that's not a good idea for you?" Do you ever tell them, "Do you think you want something else instead of that?" I tell them that, you know, we might possibly be running out of TVs, and if there's something else that you could think of, please put it on the list. Mm -hmm. Do they ever ask for anything ridiculous that you just don't? You just tell them that they you never have or. I've had a few ask for new cars, and <laughs> I said, well, it's pretty hard for Santa to deliver new cars, so it's, <laughs> uh, but they'll, I said, if you just keep thinking about it and keep saving, you'll get a new car, mm -hmm. so. Like, do parents ever ask you for anything? Uh, to keep their kids. That's a pretty big one, yeah. yeah. <laughs> How do you know if someone's naughty or nice? What teenagers or kids or whoever? I have a little list that I keep and I just kind of, I jot down some names and it's, uh, and then I look at their names and if it's on the nice list or naughty list, then I, I'll tell them, I say, well, I don't know. I think you're right on the edge there, mm -hmm. close to on the naughty list. So, and uh, when they get ready to leave, I always tell them, remember, I'll be watching, so. What do you do if they're on the naughty list? How, what do you do, what do you tell them if you know that they've been naughty and naughty kids all week? I year? tell them that, you know, they really need to uh, listen to their parents mm -hmm. and do what they're asked, and that way they can get on the nice list, mm -hmm. so. Has that ever upset any children? Not very often. I had one that cried about it, but uh, <sighs> and I, I gave her a hug and I told her, I says, you know, that almost moved you right up to the nice list, so <laughs> she was happy with that. Did she say, oh, I'll be on the nice list next year, I promise, or did she just like be like, oh, I'll try, or what she was she saying? She said, I'll be good. <laughs> How old is she? Uh, nine. Oh, that's the age where they, yeah. Do teenagers ever? Cry. Not cry about it, but like pout about it or complain or anything. Or they do. They hate coming in. Really? And technology. Mm -hmm. So we can put in several different mm -hmm. backgrounds for the photos, and it's, it's just a great idea. Do their parents choose what backgrounds they want? They do. They, have a, they get a choice. Okay. And uh, prices are very reasonable, yeah. and it's... Uh, and I have people that come in that say, God, I don't have any money. I said, it doesn't cost nothing to come over here and talk to me. Mm -hmm. And we usually snap a photo of them and give it to them for free. That's amazing. That's, people it's, love that. Well, it's, uh, it's giving. It's, yeah. it's, your, it's your heart telling you yeah. to you know, take care of people and they mm -hmm. take care of you. Okay, we're gonna transition to another segment, and it's about getting ready for Christmas. How to be get in the Christmas day or get in the mood. How to get into like, decorating and all that you know Christmas stuff. So here it is. Around this time of year, snow starts falling. People gather together in friendship, and people get really into festivities, especially with hanging lights. I love this time of year. Everyone's so happy and friendly. Don't be this guy covered in snow. Learn how to survive the holidays by these easy steps. Step one, getting to the Christmas spirit.
Step two, hanging the decorations. Step three, playing in the snow. Now your training pays off. Put all these steps together and it will look like this. And not, uh, not this time. Welcome back, Marisol. We are here still with special Santa from Santa Zen. Okay, Santa, um, we have uh, a lot of things, you know, people giving and people receiving. What's your favorite thing, giving or receiving gifts for Christmas? My favorite thing is giving. Because there's so many, there's so many people that don't have anything out there, mm -hmm. parents or siblings, and it's just uh, I open my heart to mm -hmm. the kids like that. I have I have one child that I I choose each year that comes into the shop that I feel is uh, in need and. Mrs. Claus and I, we go and make sure we mm -hmm. buy some items for that child, and I take them to their house, and mm -hmm. dressed up as Santa Claus, mm -hmm. and make sure that they uh, open their gifts in front of me, and get I get a smile. Mm -hmm. It's very important. That's amazing. What do you do to prepare for the Christmas like season before? I just try to stay happy. Just try to stay happy because it's yeah. very important. Because if if I stay happy, then the kids and the adults feel that happiness and joy, and that's what needs to be passed on to them. Mm -hmm. It's just giving. It's just a feeling that just like it fills you up with joy and everything. What's your um, favorite memory of maybe like seeing a child open up? Like a heartfelt moment. I took some toys and a, a dollhouse to a girl that her parents had abandoned her, and these folks took her in, even though they weren't related to her. And uh, she got a dollhouse, and we bought some doll uh, dolls for her, and she just wrapped her arms around me and started crying and hugging mm -hmm. me That's and amazing. that was that was one of my favorite moments mm -hmm. okay so we're going to leave off with the last question what's your message for all the little boys and girls out there who are excited and waiting for christmas remember santa's always watching and he knows <coughs> he knows whether you're naughty or nice mm -hmm. so just be careful mm -hmm. and be friendly and safe. Yeah.